Hey guys, I'm back. This is Mark with another video lesson for you guys on YouTube. So for today, we're going to talk about these four different words, right? These four words we often use in English, right? And I want to tell you when you should use them, because especially with things like much, many, uh, some, it can be a bit confusing when to use each of these words correctly. So this is, these are, this is the basic guideline for when we should use these words. If I go to the top, I have the word some. Right? Here I say, I have some books. I have some time. I have some money. I have some children. <laughs> I don't know. It's the, for an amount, right? We often use this with an uncountable, right? If I say, I have some water. Right? I have some water, right? An amount. Very often we use it in the positive. We sometimes will use some in a question, but it's usually an offer like this. Would you like some coffee? Would you like some tea? Would you like some help? Right? That's another time we can use some. If we move on to our any, if you see the word any, it's usually in a negative or a question. I can say, I don't have any magazines. Right? Actually, I don't buy any magazines. I always use my phone now, so I don't have any magazines at home. Right? I could also ask, do you have any magazines at home? Right? Do you have any? Or this one, I ask my students, or they ask, uh, or rather, they ask me, they say, do we have any homework? Do we have any homework? I want to know, homework yes or homework no, right? Do we have any? Right? And they usually, they have some homework. I always give my students some homework so they can practice what they learned in class at home. Okay? If we move on, here's our much and many. If you watched our last video, you know the reason why we use much versus many. Remember that much is for if something is uncountable, right? Right? Like homework. Three homework, four homework, five homework, we don't say, right? So with this, with homework, we would use much. We don't have much homework. Or you could say, for if it's not negative, this one, we still use the positive, we have, but it has a negative feeling, negative meaning. If we say too much, that means it's more than I think is good. We have too much homework. Our teacher gave us four pieces of homework. I think that's too much. I have to finish my homework by Thursday. Four pieces, too much, right? We can use it like that as well. For many, right? We don't have many problems. I hope this is you in your life. I don't have too many problems, right? Maybe you're opposite though. You say, we have too many problems. More than I think is okay, right? Too many problems. We have too much food. There are too many people on the MRT, right? Usually for these two, we have our negative or the negative feeling for the amount. Okay, last part right here, we have a lot. Now a lot can be very useful because we don't have to worry as much about if it's positive or negative or question. We can use a lot for everything. I have a lot of cake. I have a lot of water. I have a lot of books. We don't have to worry if you count or don't count, both okay. We can use it in negative, right? We don't have a lot of time. We don't have a lot of money. We don't have a lot of apples. <laughs> Whatever you want. Any, right? Our noun, it can be countable, uncountable. It can work with a lot. And same for questions. Do you have a lot of homework? Do you have a lot of problems? Do you have a lot of time? All of those are okay for a lot. So if these you kind of forget, you can probably use a lot and save your sentence, okay? So that's it for our list. I hope you uh, uh, take a look at this over, over the week and practice these at home. If you have any questions, as always, comment below and be sure to subscribe. And I'll see you next time.